Welcome to another Clicking Keys AppleScript tutorial video. I'm Bugs and today I'll be covering repeat loops within AppleScript. I've got several different types of repeat loops that we're going to go through today, so let's get right into it. In this first example, we'll just start by saying how many times we want to repeat. So we'll say repeat three times, end repeat, and then anything we put between this repeat and end repeat is going to be what is repeated. So we'll say display dialog hello, and when run we can see the message hello three times. This second example is similar to the first, except for we're going to be able to capture our count in a variable, so we'll know how many times we'll be repeated through the loop uh, with our variable. So we're going to say repeat with i from 1 to 3, and then we'll do our display dialog i as a string, so we'll be able to see our counter. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video, as I'll show you how to exit a repeat loop early when you've met a certain condition. So in this third example, I'm going to create a list, and then we're going to repeat with each item in that list. So I'll say set my list to, and then I'm going to create a list, and I'll say Jason, Joan, and my last item I will add Jack. So now we'll create a repeat with an item in my list, and repeat, and then I'll display dialog, hello, and an item as string. So it'll display a custom message for each of those names. So when I hit play on this example, we see hello Jason, hello Joan, and lastly, hello Jack. So in my fourth and final example, I'm going to repeat while a certain condition is true. So we'll start our repeat just like the other ones. We'll say repeat, but this time we'll say while, and now we're gonna state our condition, test equals true, and repeat. So now we, of course we have to set our variable test, so we'll say set test to true. And then inside the repeat loop, we'll go ahead and write um, additional statements to change our value of test to false. That way we can cause the repeat to exit at some point. So we'll say if i is greater than or equal to 4, then, and if. And inside the if, we'll say set test to false. That way we can cause the repeat to exit once i is greater than or equal to 4. So then I'll say set i to one and then we'll create a, an incrementer within our loop that says set i to i plus one so now when i run this once i is greater than or equal to four it will exit the repeat and we'll add our display dialog just like before and i'll just put hello in for an example so we'll go ahead and give this one a play as well and we'll see hello 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 four times so there you have four different ways of creating repeat loops within apple script just like I promised you earlier though, I will follow up and show you how to exit out of a repeat loop early when a certain condition is met. So I'll uncomment example two where I've got repeat with i from one to three and we'll add an if statement where I'll say if i equals two, then exit repeat. And so what this will do is if i equals two, it will exit the repeat early. So here you can see when I run it normally, we get the three dialogs and now once i equals two and I've got the exit repeat statement uncommented, we only see the two dialogs. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. You have no idea how much it means to me and it really does increase my motivation to continue producing these videos. Thanks again.